think century, think 100 per 100. So, converting decimals to percent. If we have 0 0.56 and we want to convert it to a percentage, very easy to do. All we do is we take our value, times it by 100, and add a percent sign. 0 0.56 times 100 is the same as 56%. Now, here's a little quick way that we can do this as well. If we're multiplying by powers of 10, and in this case we're multiplying by 100, that's the same as moving the decimal over 2 to the right. So we can actually do a lot of these right in our head just by moving the decimal over 2 to the right and adding a percent sign. That's why we like powers of 10. Easy to multiply, just move the decimal. Well, what about converting a percentage to a decimal? Well, this is just as easy. We take the percentage, 86%, and only this time we divide by 100 and lose the percentage sign. So we get 0 0.86 would be the decimal. Same thing. We could take 86 and we divide by 100. Power of 100. You're going to move the decimal two to the right. It was originally here, and now it's going to become 0 0.86. Well, what if we have a fraction and we have to convert it to percent? Or sorry, convert a percent to a fraction. And this is very straightforward. We take our percentage, divide by 100, and rather than divide, I'm actually going to write it as a fraction divided by 100. Remember, fraction just means divide. And now we simplify this fraction by finding a value that divides evenly into both. We divide both by 25. 75 divided by 25 is 3. 100 divided by 25 is 4. Pretty straightforward. What about a fraction to a percentage? Now, a fraction to a percentage is the one where you will need to use a calculator for the most part. Now, this is a very simple calculation. All we're going to do is we're going to go 9 divided by, let me make that clearer, nine divided by 12, so that's just doing the fraction. And once we figure out what that value is, we're going to times it by 100. So when we do 9 divided by 12 on your calculator, what you get is you get 0 0.75. And now if we times that by 100, that's the same as moving the decimal two places over, so we get 75 percent. So pretty straightforward when dividing a fraction to a percentage. Do the division and multiply by 100. So that's your review of fractions, decimals, and percent. You can go through and do a number of questions on the review sheets for some extra practice.